it's a Hall of Fame team versus a team of the NFL's best. Now, the Hall of Fame team is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Jerry Rice will be the captain. It will be a collection of players who have been inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. The Kansas City Chiefs will be the team of the NFL's best players, and they will be led by Jalen Rams, and they will be a collection of the players who had an incredible 2022 season. Both teams will compete in a collection of challenges in practice mode, franchise mode, and a Super Bowl matchup to decide the winner. Starting with the Hall of Fame's roster, they have Jerry Rice leading the offense. He has set incredible records in his 20 seasons playing in the NFL, and he was inducted into the Hall of Fame during the 2010 class. To make this a little bit more interesting, we have to take one Hall of Fame player on offense and on defense from every single decade, starting with the 1970s. Randy Moss, Steve Largent, and Calvin Johnson will be the remaining wide receivers on the depth chart, knocking off the 1990s, 2010s, and 2020s. The starting quarterback for this team is going to be Joe Montana, winning four Super Bowls, and he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2000. Inducted in the 1970s, Johnny Unitas will back up Joe Montana, and I also added Tom Brady, even though he was not inducted into the Hall of Fame just yet. He recently retired, and he will be a first ballot Hall of Famer for sure. At running back, we have Walter Payton and Emmett Smith leading the way. Walter Payton played in the NFL for 13 seasons, racking up 16,726 rushing yards and 125 total touchdowns. For the 1980s decade, we have Mike Dicka who will be our starting tight end with Dave Casper backing him up. The offensive line includes Anthony Munoz, Gene Upshaw, Jim Otto, John Hanna, and Jonathan Ogden. The defense is going to be led by Hall of Famer and one of the all-time greats on the defensive side of the ball in Lawrence Taylor. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1999 with 132.5 sacks in his third 13 season. Alongside him, Demarcus Ware, who just recently was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2023, Ray Lewis, who is one of the scariest players to ever play the game. The defensive line includes Hall of Famer Reggie White and Bruce Smith. Mean Joe Green and Alan Page will be the defensive tackles, and they are both inducted into the Hall of Fame in the 1980s. Ken Houston was another player inducted in the 80s, and he had 49 career interceptions. And although Ken Houston's stats were unbelievable, Ronnie Lott was even better. Deion Sanders will lead the corners along with Willie Brown and Night Train Lane. And we were able to add one offensive player and one defensive player on the Hall of Fame team from each decade. The team of the NFL's best players will be led by Jalen Ramsey. Sauce Gardner won Defensive Rookie of the Year and Patrick Sertain II had a great season with the Broncos. Minka Fitzpatrick and Derwin James Jr. will be the safeties on the teams and at linebacker, Fred Warner is the best middle linebacker in the NFL. Micah Parsons has emerged as one of the best linebackers in the NFL and Max Crosby will join him as the left outside linebacker. The defensive line is absolutely stacked with Defensive Player of the Year Nick Bosa at the right right end and Miles Garrett at left end. Aaron Donald and Chris Jones will be the defensive tackles and they have won three Super Bowls combined. On offense, Patrick Mahomes will be quarterback number one and he is the highest rated quarterback in Madden and rightfully so. According to Pro Football Focus's running back grades, Josh Jacob leads the way and Christian McCaffrey is close behind, which was a little bit surprising because I thought Nick Chubb would definitely be a little bit higher on that list. Offensive player of the year, Justin Jefferson will lead the receivers along with Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Stephon Diggs, and AJ Brown. And this should surprise no one with Travis Kelsey being tight end one and George George Kittle right behind him. The O-line consists of Trent Williams, Joel Batonio, Creed Humphrey, Zach Martin, and Lane Johnson. Both teams have lots of talent and this is going to be a great competition. The first challenge is the punt return. The Hall of Fame team is up first and Deion Sanders returns it for 12 yards. On attempt number two, Deion is able to pick up 10 yards and follows it up with another 8 yards on attempt number three for a total of 30 yards. Walter Payton will take the next two attempts and he is able to pick up 11 on his first one. On the Hall of Famer's last attempt, Hayden was able to pick up 13 yards for a grand total of 50 for and that is going to be pretty tough to beat. The first attempt for Tyreek Hill and the NFL's best players, and he goes for about 13. On attempt number two, he is able to pick up 12 yards and then gets 14 more on his third attempt for a total of 39 yards with two attempts left. Stephon Diggs is up next, and he needs 16 yards on these next two attempts to win the challenge. And he's able to pick up nine. The final attempt for Stephon Diggs, and he is able to pick up eight for a total of 56, defeating the team of Hall of Famers in the punt return challenge. Next up is the goal line phase challenge, where the three receivers on both teams go one-on-one -on -one with their best corner. Starting with the Hall of Fame team, Joe Montana throws it up to Jerry Rice who is not able to come down with the first catch. But on attempt number two, Jerry was able to come down with the pass and sneak into the end zone. Randy Moss is up next and he is able to get a step on Sauce for a touchdown. Sauce Gardner is able to swat the ball away and Fred Warner picks it off. But next up is 6'5", Calvin Johnson and he easily comes down for a touchdown and he follows that up with another grab over top of Sauce Gardner. And the team of Hall of Famers finished with four touchdowns on six attempts. The team of the NFL's best
best players is up next, and Patrick Mahomes lobs one up to Justin Jefferson, who is able to score over Willie Brown. But on attempt number two, Brown gets some revenge, picking off Mahomes in the end zone. Devontae Adams is next, and he is able to catch it off the swap for a touchdown. And since this worked the first time, why not try it again, catching another tip ball in the end zone? With just two attempts left, the team of the NFL's best have to complete both these passes in order to win. And AJ Brown is easily able to score on his first attempt. And on his last attempt, AJ Brown is able to beat Willie Brown and secure the victory for his team. The NFL's best team extends their lead in the competition to two with the passing challenge up next. And for the passing challenge, whichever team tallies up the most yards will win. If a quarterback gets sacked, that's minus five. And if a quarterback throws an interception, that's minus 10. On their first attempt, Montana is able to hit Randy Moss for an eight yard gain. He immediately goes back to Moss for another nine yards. But on a Attempt number three, Montana finds tight end Dave Casper over the middle for 25 yards. Unfortunately, on attempt number four, Nick Bosa sacks Montana, losing five points. So far, the Hall of Famers only have 37 points with just one attempt left. Montana launches it downfield, and Jerry Rice somehow comes down with it for 48 yards putting their total to a respectable 85. Mahomes starts off strong, hitting his favorite target in Travis Kelsey for 28 yards, and then follows it up with another 22 yards, but this time to Devontae Adams. On attempt number three, Mahomes checks it down to Christian McCaffrey, only picking up eight. Through three attempts, the team of the NFL's best have a total of 58 yards, but on attempt number four, Mahomes gets sacked, losing five points. And on the last attempt, Mahomes checks it down for seven yards for a grand total of 60. The Hall of Famers finally get on the board, winning their first challenge. Next up, we have the franchise challenge. Challenge. Whichever team the Hall of Famers or the NFL's best player has the best record at the end of the season will win this challenge. Through seven games, the Hall of Famers lead the NFL with a 7-0 record while the NFL's best are 6-1. Joe Montana already has 2,100 yards and 20 touchdowns, while Patrick Mahomes has 1,700 yards and 18 touchdown passes. Loris Taylor has 17 and a half sacks already, but Miles Garrett isn't too far behind with 17. And now, simming to the end of the season, can the Hall of Famers continue their undefeated season? And they do, finishing the season with a 17-0 record while the NFL's best finished 16-1. Their only loss came in the opening game of the season to the Cardinals. Walter Payton led all running backs with 2,000 yards and 27 touchdowns while Joe Montana led all quarterbacks with 50 touchdowns. Calvin Johnson finished with 1,400 receiving yards and 20 touchdowns, while Jerry Rice finished with 1,200 yards and 6 touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes also had a pretty good season with 4,400 passing yards and 45 touchdown passes. Starting running back Josh Jacobs was able to rush for 18 touchdowns on the season, but surprisingly enough, none of the wide receivers had over 1,000 yards. Miles Garrett finished the season with a record-breaking 37 sacks, but Lawrence Taylor immediately breaks it with 38 and a half. The NFL's best defeats the Hall of Famers in the AFC Championship game, and went on to win the Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes winning Super Bowl MVP. And after the franchise challenge, it is all tied up where both teams have two challenge wins. The final challenge is a Super Bowl matchup where we have Joe Montana and the team of Hall of Famers going up against Patrick Mahomes and the team of the NFL's best. On the first possession of the game, Montana is able to find Jerry Rice for 9 yards, but Dave Casper drops a pass on 3rd down, forcing the Hall of Famers to punt. Mahomes is able to find Tyree Kill on 3rd and 5 to move the chains. A few plays later, Mahomes is able to find Tyree Kill once again for 13 yards, and finally, Tyree Kill caps the drive off by scoring a touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. A big 3rd down and 16 for Hall of Famers, and Montana chucks it up, and somehow Mike Dicka comes down with it for a touchdown. What an unbelievable throw and catch by the team of Hall of Famers. On 3rd and 13, Mahomes keeps it and only picks up 7, but they elect to go for it and they pick up the first down. First down and goal, Mahomes throws it up to Stephon Dix, who makes an incredible one-handed catch for the touchdown. Montana and the Hall of Famers work down the field with a big run by Walter Payton, but throws an interception right into the hands of Jalen Ramsey. And Mahomes makes him pay with a 5-yard touchdown pass to Devontae Adams extending the lead to 13. But just before half, Montana finds Jerry Rice in the end zone for 7. The second half started with a fumble by Joe Montana, but Mahomes was unable to score on his possession. Montana and the Hall of Famers back in the red zone, and this time he was able to find Calvin Johnson in the end zone, giving them their first lead of the game. The team of the NFL's best is able to work down the field, and Devontae Adams scores yet another touchdown. With just under two minutes to go, Joe Montana leads his team down the field and Randy Moss makes an incredible catch over the corner to tie the game. And that was vintage Randy Moss. And with just two seconds left, Justin Tucker misses the game-winning field goal and we are heading to overtime. And in overtime, both teams were able to score, but the defense of the NFL's best comes up clutch, giving Mahomes a chance 
to get into field goal range. And the NFL's best team take their three and win the Super Bowl, and more importantly, the entire competition by a score of three to two. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out what would happen if the team of the year was an actual NFL franchise.